What's up everybody, I'm Jesse, this is my garage. Here's what we're working on today. We're gonna pull some more of this apart. This is our core um, parts engine, VG30 DETT, that we picked up a couple weeks ago in Tampa. And then last week we pulled off the timing components, pulled some of them apart, found out uh, it's a rusty crusty mess. But uh, we're gonna get back to it today. If you're gonna watch the other video, Shoot, go and watch it. Or if not, just watch this one. Bring you up to speed. Turbos, rough, 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 rough. It's all rough, but that's what we knew when we were buying it. So without further ado, let's start taking this thing apart. Find out what else we, what we're looking for is usable parts for our twin turbo swap. Parts that we can sell. And uh, I don't know, see what else we find that's interesting. <laughs> bagged and tagged everything that way i know if i have extra bolts if we end up selling something otherwise they'll want to pile and you never know where anything come from in terms of a huge mess but a couple things i just wanted to touch on while we were at this stage before we move on to the next and make a huge mess on the table that's another thing organization we're gonna pull out more parts this is what all this stuff looks like the more parts you take off the more it expands into storage and all that and that's why i actually have these shelves in here if you notice but uh we're still moving into so there's some extra crap right there but i put those shelves in just for part storage so this piece right here this is the spark plug tube if you watched the video uh where question and answer video we just did um they're talking about stuff and how is it hard to work on well this is underneath your intake manifold this it goes around the spark plugs and it's like try to keep oil and stuff out but there's gaskets right here and they go bad and then there's gaskets that run and this these are totally bad the ones that run on top of here and so there's actually gaskets that go on here one on each side and then three one two three for here and uh, this stuff needs to be changed and kept up on when you take that intake manifold and that intake manifold has to come off for you to get to this stuff and the same on the valve cover so if you're doing the valve covers you should get the add gasket set to replace these spark plug tubes and there's a gasket that goes around the top and uh, this one's totally smoked it's flat and dry and brittle and the new one that comes is all soft so uh, just a little thing to touch on on that this is one thing you should know if you're going to work on these cars um, get there's extra gaskets and stuff that is underneath the intake manifold that you might not be expecting that need to get maintenance and I feel like are overlooked all the time our backing plate, this is garbage. Oh, I guess we can look at our water pump here. Ah, uh, totally just, someone had already said it, but someone was obviously running water through this uh, the system. This is what happens, what your cooling system will look like if you don't 
run like the proper, just on straight water. Uh, this is what you can expect. So I, I, this engine, I, I don't know, this engine is rough. I mean, how good can this cooling be if you're full of rust like this? And we've seen it, I've seen it in the cooling line, it's just full of rust. This is your water pump, full of rust. Here's that. So run antifreeze in your system, run the right mixture of antifreeze, usually 50-50 antifreeze mixture. And then if you do have to go to the track and you can't run antifreeze, because I totally know that that's a thing, there's something called water wetter. Put that additive in your water and then use distilled water as well keep your system from looking like this and then just uh, run antifreeze when you can to keep uh, keep the rust out. We got our valve covers. Um, that's our intake gear, exhaust cam gear just for anybody that you know maybe hasn't got this deep in their motor. This is what you're looking at. Valve cover gaskets, exhaust valve cover gaskets, just silver. Intake exhaust, intake valve cover gasket, what did I say? Exhaust valve cover gasket, silver, factory. Intake gasket is black. Um, this one has screws. This one has bolts. Intake uses an exhaust gasket. Exhaust valve cover uses valve uh, gasket maker, gray gasket maker. That's what is used on your exhaust side of your engine. So if you're doing your valve cover gaskets, which I'm sure you all need to do if you haven't done them because they leak and get oil everywhere, is um, gray gasket maker on this one. And then this is the actual gasket. So if you go to order the kit and it looks a little funny, that's why if you order the kit from like Z1 or Concept Z, you'll get both the intake side gaskets and a tube of gray gasket maker that you'll use to do the gaskets on your exhaust side. Anything else I can think of? And if you are doing your valve covers, do these spark plug uh, tubes gaskets as well. All right, let's get back to it. And we're, gonna, we're actually like at the turbo. So I'm gonna make a whole nother mess because there's a bunch of parts there that we have to get off to get these things off. parts that we pull off um the turbos yeah good luck you're not servicing those turbos in the car it is a maze 
of parts stacked on top of each other that there's no way you could get to with this engine in the car. So uh, one thing to know, if you need to service your turbos or any of that stuff, this engine's gotta come out to do it. Um, second, so we didn't break or strip any bolts on the right side of this engine, so that's good. What I'll say when I was noticing it, so like my mainline tools that um, sockets and wrenches are snap-on, so they're tight fitting and uh, just like they can stand up to some abuse because I've used them. So I would, and then I have, you know, Harbor Freight uh, sockets and all that stuff, and I will tell you the Harbor Freight sockets are much looser. So you might, uh, so what I use, of course, is my mainline stuff, which is the snap-on stuff, which is like the high quality tool. And I think that's what the difference was between taking off like the heat shielding on the rusted bolts and having those bolts actually snap or get stripped versus um, some cheaper tools. So I will say that it was like a huge plus if you're gonna do this job. A uh, nicer hard, uh, mainline tools is a plus just because they're tight fitting and grip that bolt. And then if you saw, I was using my impact gun and slow, not just to pull the trigger and have it come off, just um, tapping the trigger, putting some pressure on that bolt, uh, persuading it to come out slowly. And I was ready to apply some heat if needed be, but luckily we got all the um, exhaust manifold shielding off uh, downpipe off, everything off without it breaking. What did break was here's one of our water lines and I don't know if you can see that but it is just full of rust, metal. This thing snapped right in half and uh, you, there's no water flow coming through that. That thing's uh, terrible. So one thing that we learned is uh, don't run water in your cooling system and then this literally came out of the turbo, all this rust. I'm sure we could uh, have more come out of the cooling port. Yeah, so that's all coming out of the cooling port because uh, this engine was severely um, neglected and abused and just not taken care of, not taken care of properly. And that's why you're here is to take care of, learn how to take care of your car and see what you're working on. Uh, anything else? We backed and tagged everything. Um, it's amazing stuff. And uh, right hand side's done. We got to go over to the left side and take that apart. All right, well, we got our mess cleaned up. Claire and Chloe are going to park their car in here tonight. That's all cleaned up. Parts are all put away. These are those shelves I was talking about, which actually I need to organize more because now their parts are everywhere. This cleaned up. Let's get our car back in here. Start winding up for the night and then see what's going on and call it a night. All right, cars are all put away. Let's cut riffraff off. Close the garage door. Start shutting this down a little in the shop shutdown mode here. Did it. Dun, 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 dun. Good job, everybody. Let's go see what's going on in here. I can already hear him hollering. You guys ready for dinner? Yeah. Awesome. Just in time for dinner. Hey, babe. What, what you got? I did good. Oh yeah, ribs, ribs, ribs. All right, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, shopjgarage.com. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time.